Stevie Wonder. Uh, et, je... et now you find yourself in 82. <laughs> Stevie Wonder. Uh... If you really love me, won't you tell me that I won't have to be hanging around? I see the light of your smile is calling me all the while. Then you're telling me, baby, it's time to go. Feeling alright, then it's gone from sight. I forgot the rest of the words. I love Stevie. Just beautiful, man. You have such a high range on top of having a great voice, but you also nice. deliver the John Wetton voice so well in Asia. Like you really Thank nail you. it. Oh, thanks. Yeah, it's, it was. It took months of sort of reteaching myself how to sing so that I would default to a new way of singing that sounded more like him than the usual thing. Because, you know, you can practice and practice and practice, but as soon as you're staring at 4,000 people and your adrenaline is up, is up you're, you stop thinking and, and you're just going to go into automatic mode and I had to make sure that that automated mode of, okay, uh, this has to be open, this has to resonate, don't put vibrato, don't do this, don't do that, sing it like him. Uh, so it took months of changing my go-to habits of just the way I automatically would sing. Because it's different for everyone. You resonate in a different place in your mouth, in your nose, in your chest. You tighten this, you relax this. And I had to change all of that and make that a new habit. So that when I go up there, I'm just automatically comfortable singing the way he does. Because he had a much different approach. You know, no vibrato most of the time. And, and his high notes were E's and O's, which are like, you know, not the open vowels that you would normally... You know, it would be a loud ah, eh, ah oh, kind of thing. And he's doing the other ones, which I think was more of uh, that Brit prog thing. A lot of those guys had that. Greg Lake had that. Uh, you know, definitely not the metal guys. They were the opposite. You know, big, boisterous vibrato. You know, it was like the opposite of Rob Halford. You know, Rob Halford is very brassy and bright and open ah. You know, it's just, you know, stand back for you know, that kind of thing. Where you know, he mm -hmm. jumps up three octaves in one syllable, right? He goes, you're in for a surprise. You're oh, in, that. Oh. in for surprise. You're in for a shot. <laughs> yeah. Let's see if we can hit it. <laughs> Hitting the high A. Yeah, the... London town streets where there's darkness and fire, 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 fire. When you least expect me and you turn your back, I'll attack. Yeah, I love priests, especially the old priest, all the said wing stuff and all of that. Yeah, even the, the rock and roller stuff. <laughs> That very first album. Where would you be without music? You would be nowhere at all. One for the road, sharing our load. All of that stuff, yeah. Ah, uh, such. That, that upbeat guitar doing the other part. Uh, yeah, great. Such interesting stuff on that album. Well, Victim of Changes changed my life at age Sandwings, 13, yeah. the live version, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that. Mm-hmm. Well, first, you need the, the, the harmony.
Yeah. Uh, that that both guitar players at once, right there, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I just, check it out. I do that like this. Wait. <laughs> yeah. Play with. Me. Yeah, uh, Priest and Maiden are great to do two guitar parts at once with. <laughs> Them, uh, of course, Maiden, you know. But yeah, yeah. And of course, Boston, another one. That's fantastic, man. I meet a lot of guitar players who put in 10,000 hours, but you you put in like 10 million. Like you're, you're <laughs> you just made been a me, long time. You made me think of another one. How about this one? You could do, I don't know if I'm going to play it because I just heard it in my head, but. Mm -hmm. I'm burning, I'm burning, I'm burning. Oh, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what a great song. <laughs> 